so lately I've been getting into electronics. I've been doing it for a while, you know, messing around with it here and there, but I've been getting a little bit more serious with my PCB work. And when I went looking for a PCB clamp on Amazon, a couple other spots too, I was actually shocked at how much they wanted for some of these clamps. I mean, some of them were a little bit more reasonable, around $30, $40, but some of them <laughs> went up to, uh, you know, $75, $100, $125 even. So, kind of dawned on me at that point that, you know, I have a 3D printer and I could probably make one of these quite easily. So I did that, I designed the entire thing in SketchUp, and I proceeded to export the STL file and print it. There were some modifications that were made to the original file because, you know, things don't always uh, fit the way you want the first try without, you know, some real playing around. So I spent a lot of time making the design look good and over, overall improving the way the cams actually work and ensuring everything was a nice fit. Overall, I'm super impressed with how it turned out. I mean, you know, I love this thing. I've only been using it for a week, but I've used it so much. So, I wanted to share this with you guys. Now, it was printed in normal PLA, and the assembly is quite simple. Uh, there's the base, which everything sits on, the frame, and the clamping accessories. The lever and cams in the design lock rotation and lock position. The, the position is locked by an expanding dovetail, whereas the rotation is locked by a cam. Overall, very simple in terms of assembly. Uh, going over the print itself, uh, there in the first segment there is printing the base and the frame. This is what I'm calling the fingers. And the assembly is extremely simple. We have the two levers that attach to the frame and we have the two cams which also attach to each frame and these can be held in place with either screws or filament I chose to use screws because I think that's a little bit more reliable and once you have the cams installed on the frame and a lever installed on the frames they can be slid into place on the base and then you can start attaching your accessories uh, you use the cam the black cam in this case uh, to lock rotation and then the red ones will lock position So there it is. So I just wanted to let you know that you can download the entire thing over on Colts3D.com. I'm going to pin the link in the comments below. Um, but feel free to give me your comments. Any questions are welcome. I'm all ears here. So uh, please feel free to uh, leave any feedback below. Then the final bit to all of this is the PCB cam clamp. Now this is an extra that I made um, and I thought it was a, kind of a great thing. It kind of came to me at the end, but uh, this one will hold the PCB from one side. It has a cam in there so that when you push the PCB into place it will lock it. And it also has an armature there for 
helping you hold bigger components uh, when you flip the board for soldering.